And this is definitely ancient Incan? Yes, but it's an unusual syntax. Translated, it means, look not beyond yourself. The power was, is within your grasp. What do you think the inscription refers to? Oh, it's probably some key chant, some ritual or other. Are you dabbling in ritual black magic now, Dr. Stevens? Don't you have anything better to do than look in hallways, Andrews? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chamberlain. Your necklace? Uh, Dr. Stevens and I share an interest in primitive jewelry. Really? That's fascinating. Well, I must be going. I'll be in touch with you later. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Please take your seats. Thank you. Now, I'm Professor Chamberlain, and welcome to Cultural Anthropology 102. Now, would you, um, since there are no prerequisites for this course, students of all majors are welcome. Pass these out for me, please. These are a syllabus of what we're going to cover this semester. Now, you'll notice from the uh, syllabus that I plan today to cover the physiological aspects of prehistoric man before we delve into his culture. Huh? Now, during the course of the lecture, I will be using slides. Uh, on second thought, I won't be using slides. I forgot the screen. <laughs> no, you need to quit. Quit, and I, I got it. Quit. No, I'm so excited I got here on time. You know, I tried to call after you, but I, you know, I... Let me just set it up right here. I'll just set it up real quick. Uh, I won't take a second. Oh, <laughs> hi. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, Nola. Weird, I mean, <laughs> Chamber, I'm his wife, Quentin, I mean, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I'm, uh, Mr., uh, Professor Chamberlain's wife, and, uh, I'll be, uh, assisting him in the lecture today. Yeah. Just take my coat off here. Now, about 12 to 14 million years ago, ape and man started to develop different traits. Probably the first genus of mo modern man was the Ramapithecus. Now, the Ramapithecus was followed by the Australopithecus. The Australopithecus was a small brain creature, appeared about five to one million years ago. Sorry. It's all right. There's some dispute as to what was actually considered the first human being. Now, some archaeologists ca classify... I'm sorry. Oh, excuse sorry. me. The Homo habilis, while others classify that as being the Homo erectus. Nola, turn the lights back on. Oh, um... I'm not ready for the slide no, yet. okay. Um, I'll just, I had to test the projector. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just had to test the projector for a minute. And, um, I'll... You go on with your lecture. Don't, don't mind me. Yes. Don't mind me. Go on. All right, the Homo erectus appeared about one and a half million years ago. The, uh, uh, Nola, could you turn the light off, please? You got the spotlight now, Professor. <laughs> yeah. Please turn the light off. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, now, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, please. About one and a half million years ago. Nola. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's my slide. No, it's okay. Look, I'll, you don't worry about a thing. I'll, I'll, I'll get them together real quick. Go on. You go on with your lecture, honey. Go on. Go on, sweetheart. Go on. I mean, professor. Go on. I'll, I'll get them back together real quick. <clears throat> yes. Uh, the uh, Homo erectus, as the name implies, stood erect. <laughs> <laughs> and had an unusual adeptness unknown in modern man. Now, some of the distinguishing characteristics of the Homo erectus was his use of stone tools and weapons. Now, the Homo erectus was first credited for the hunt and gathering organization, the division of labor, if you will. The Homo erectus was also able to prepare his meals, being that the Homo erectus was the first to make 
fire. <clears throat> now, I have some slides that I'd like to show you concerning an area in which we found the Homo erectus and some of his tools. <laughs> Nola. <laughs> Nola. Is class over? No, not quite yet. Could you uh, turn the projector on, oh, please? Oh, yes, honey. I'm a professor. Just read that's what I'm here for. Thank you. Well, uh, can help. I'll turn off the lights. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Now, this first slide shows you an area in which we found traces of Homo erectus. And it is also out of focus. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. Next. Next. Mm -hmm. Next slide. Yes. Okay. Now, this next slide. Oops. <laughs> This next slide is still out of focus and upside down. Okay, let me try again. The Wait a minute. Let me third time's the charm. I'll get it this time. I know I will. Why don't you try a Here I another oh, wait a minute. slide? Let, let me fix it. Let me see. I just I dropped it into the slide projector. Just a minute. I'll, I'll fix it. Just a minute. Oh, try the next slide, Nola. Wait a minute. Does anybody have a bobby pin? <laughs> wait a minute. You know, actually, if you just sort of tilt your head like this, you can see it perfect. Everybody tilt your head. Yeah. See? See, it looks all right like that. Maybe if I just move the machine. Just move the machine a little bit like this. I can... There, look. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Wait a minute, I smell something. <gasps> oh my god, this, it's on fire! It's on fire! Run! It's really not on fire. Run, run! It's on fire! Oh my god! Now wait a minute. Run, run! There's oh, something out there! It's on fire! Oh, Hurry! Don't, don't burn the place down! Hurry up! Oh, look at that! Please, oh, don't. Quentin! Are they calling the police? Call the fire department! Hurry up! Out of here! Out of here! Out of here! Look at the wall! Last dismissed. No, 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 you didn't have to use the extinguisher on my slide projector. I'd already put the flame out myself. Well, better safe than sorry, that's what I always say. Yeah, me too. You know, it's a good thing you got here so fast. No telling how many lives you saved. Saving lives is our business, Mel. <laughs> that's right. Well, is there anything else we can do for you, sir? No. No. Thank you. Nothing more. Okay, okay. this way. Uh, careful. Thanks. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Bye. Bye. These slides are irreplaceable. Don't worry, you have a lot more at home. I can't believe this happened on my very first day in class. You know, I was kind of amazed myself. But uh, to tell you the truth, you know, I was wondering what kind of professor you're going to be. But your lecture today was definitely the most exciting 